Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Welcome back to Design to Sell. So today we are going to be doing a shell challenge. If you haven't seen these challenges on the gallery before, they're really fun. I really like to do them in my spare time when I feel like decorating. I don't know if you guys get into those moods where you don't feel like building, but you feel like decorating. So I have a few of these in my gallery, but I was just kind of trying to figure out what I wanted to do for for today's episode and I decided this would be fun so it is on the gallery let me pull it up so I can give proper credit I believe it's by the designer MC I think is how you say it where is it where are you right here no not that one. <laughs> oh, where'd it go I had it oh right here uh yeah so the the underscore designer MC so it's blank there's no so I can't really do a tour because, I mean, I can, but it's just open. I mean, there's no walls. There's no structure. Um, yeah. I mean, it's for sure a shell. So even if you go upstairs, it's the same way. There's nothing up here. So I had to do all the rooms. There's no landscaping, nothing like that. So my thought for this house, as far as the storyline goes, is that there was a family or, you know, people that decided to build a house. And uh, maybe they decided they wanted to back out. And so since they had a loan through the bank, they then forfeited the house to the bank. So this is as far as the house got built. You know, they did the outside structure, they put in all the windows, but they haven't actually painted. They didn't do any indoor framing, no landscaping, which are usually some of the last parts that you do when you build a house. So this is pretty realistic, which is why I thought it would be fun. So then I imagine that the bank would have auctioned it off to, you know, real estate agents and teams, that kind of stuff, so that they could go in and flip the house, in other words. So that was my thought going with this, this idea that I thought it would be fun to, you know, make the house look pretty I, I'm trying I'm gonna make it not cluttered so that because it's supposed to be a real estate house so they're gonna be trying to sell this to people so people will be walking through trying to decide if they want to buy it so it's not cluttered it's supposed to be pretty simple uh, but I thought that'd be fun so I didn't really give myself a budget or anything like that I I don't know I just I didn't know how much framing would cost I didn't know landscaping so I just didn't want to like miss miss it so let's just say that the real estate people have a lot of money <laughs> can we do that is that okay <laughs> so anyway so yeah um please though i would like to see your guys's houses so you can send me your houses under the hashtag design to sell in the gallery and i would love to see what else you guys come up with you know there's some fun stories that i'm sure you guys will create that i wouldn't have even thought of so i'd really like to see your designs so yeah submit those to me uh, but it, I guess that's it for this part. So let's move on to the decoration renovation. Alrighty, guys. So we are back into the decoration renovation of this uh, house. I actually really like this house. I think it's really cutesy. It's uh, it's little in a good way. It might be a little too small for me. I would have preferred the kids' bedrooms to be a little bit bigger than this. The downstairs, though, I think is a perfect size. Uh, I didn't build this house. I have to, you know, make sure that's clear. I'm not... Um, I, I really want to learn how to build smaller like this, but, you know, sometimes my brain just wants to go bigger go bigger go home I guess I'm not really sure anyways how are you guys today are you good I hope you're good I like Fridays today is Friday and uh, I have not had a very productive day today I wanted to but I haven't so that's not good <laughs> I took the day off of work to like focus on getting homework done and videos and that kind of stuff and I really have not got much done at all. I don't know. I'm I'm having I'm kind of in a weird funk. Do you guys ever get that way? I'm in like a funk where I just don't I can't focus and I just am not motivated to do anything. <laughs> Which is really bad because I need like 
for some reason the only thing I'm motivated to do right now is actually go to the gym which is so weird because I'm never like that um I mean if you don't know I go to the gym with my niece uh, three times a week uh for two hours about um and usually I hate it because I hate the gym (laughs) I hate it it's just not fun right it's lifting weights so it's not like totally torturous um but like it's not fun either you know but for some reason this whole week that's been fun for me and the everything else has not been fun it's been more of a chore and I don't know why I'm like that I just don't feel like doing anything (laughs) I guess it's my brain I don't really feel like using my brain I don't feel like wanting I don't want to be creative I don't want to be logical I just don't want to do anything right now I don't know what to do. Does that mean I need, like, a couple of days off of actually not doing anything? I have no idea, but that doesn't really help when you do full-time YouTube because I need to record Speed Build Sunday and CC Showcase and I don't know. It's not going well <laughs> so far. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I feel like we need a, a tag again. If you guys have fun tags, send them to me on Twitter um, or wherever, you know, I have a social media, which is basically just Twitter, um, because I really like doing these and I think they're fun. Um, you guys can always give me topics to talk about, too, if you want me to talk about something specific. Um, it would be fun to do the boyfriend tag. Maybe I'll do the boyfriend boyfriend tag um, and maybe I can get my boyfriend Ivan to come on camera um, I've kind of mentioned to it, mentioned it to him, and he actually is not opposed to it. So I think maybe when I hit like I don't know ten thousand subs or something like that, maybe I'll bring him on and we'll do the boyfriend tag over like a speed build or something. That might be kind of fun, right? Ten little secrets tag. Should I do that? Does that kind of sound fun? Uh, okay, okay. I mean, not that I'm like, I'll do my best. (laughs) So this is called the 10 secrets tag. Um, Yeah. So the first one is, what is the product that makes you feel like a million dollars? I have to say it would definitely be my eyebrow powder, which is totally random, but um, I have really dark hair. I mean, not, it's kind of natural. My hair is a little darker anyways, um, but I do dye it to make it even darker. Uh, but my eyebrows are very light. There is a curse, not a curse, but you know, there's a, my family, like my mom and my grandma and, uh, my sister, some of my nieces who are lighter hair, we don't have like eyebrows. Like they're so light in color that it's like you have, you have to fill them in unless you're blonde and we're not blondies. So it's, it kind of sucks and I don't really have like a nice shape or anything like that. So I have been like filling in my eyebrows with like eyebrow powder. I know some people use like a pencil, but for me, I feel like powder looks a lot more natural. Um, and it really does make me feel like pretty because I feel like it's a, it's super, it really frames my face and I think it brings a lot of attention to my eyes and uh, I like the way that I do them right now. Who knows, probably in a couple years from now, I'll be like, oh my gosh, why did I do them that way? <laughs> but for now, I like them and uh, that and probably mascara make me feel pretty, but I just feel like I can't go on without eyebrows. Does that make sense? Uh, what's your skincare secret? A pass down skincare tip? Um... I don't know if I have a past skin de- passed down skincare tip. Uh, not that I have amazing skin or anything. I don't really get acne that often. Um, so I guess I'm lucky there. Uh, hmm. I think what helps my acne is I exfoliate every night. And I think that makes it so I really just don't get zits at all. Uh, I mean, a mom. A mom. <laughs> A secret my mom always told me. It's not necessarily a secret, but she just always told me to start using skin care when I turned, you know, in my early 20s because that's what she did. And she doesn't look as old as she is because she takes care of her skin. So that's what I started doing. So I guess that's kind of a secret is a lot of people don't think that you need to start wearing, you know, anti-aging creams and stuff when you're in your 20s. But 
it, it protects your skin and it keeps your skin healthy as it's aging. So I believe in that. Uh, share your hair care secret. <laughs> I mean, again, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't really have a hair care secret that's special or anything like that. Uh, I would say if you want really pretty curls, use a bear or use a, um, a barrel that doesn't have a wand on it. A clip. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, don't use a hair curling wand instead of like a hair curler with like a clip, like an old fashioned curling iron. Use one that's just a barrel and it doesn't have a clip because it makes you be able to get into those tiny spaces that you want to curl. I don't know. It's not really a secret, but that's just what I do. What's your biggest diet rule? Um, I mean, I'm still learning this. I'm still trying to figure out what's best for me. What really works for me is just eating less. Uh, it makes me feel better. I also do fasting. I stop eating at like mm, dinner, basically, which is usually about six or seven. I stop eating dinner and then I won't eat until 1130 the next day. So it's a pretty long fast and it just makes me feel really good. I don't feel like it's bloated. I have a lot more energy. I just have to make sure I drink a lot of water. Uh, not really a secret or anything, but I do do that. And then I just try to eat. I don't really try to snack that often. I really just try to eat like two big meals a day. Um, so yeah, we'll see if it works weight loss wise, making me feel better wise. Yes. So to me, that's the most important. Any workout tips? No, I mean, I don't like to work out, but if there's anything I've learned, just do something that you really like to do. I'm sure you've heard that, but I really do enjoy lifting weights like it's not something that I hate doing so you know I do put a lot of focus on that and if I have to do cardio uh, I like to dance or I like to do something you can get over quickly so like a, a 15 minute like hit workout just do something that you like to do you know some people like to bike some people like to hike swim whatever you want to do uh, it's it's only going to benefit you you know, that's the thing. It, there's no harm in like exercising. And if even if you don't lose weight, that's what I'm trying to tell myself. So yeah. Which perfume is your secret weapon? I don't know. I'd have to ask guys. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. I mean, I kind of switch off a little bit here and there. Like right now I'm wearing this really good uh, perfume from Bath and Body Works. I think it's called it's, uh, I should get it. I can't remember because it has like a long name. It's called like Caramel Apricot something. And uh, I walked, I went and saw my hairstylist yesterday when I hugged her. She's like, oh my gosh, what are you wearing? And the lady like that was like sitting in the waiting room was like, I was about to ask the same question because you smell delicious. <laughs> so then I was like, okay, good. Because I can never smell myself. So I just never know if I smell good. <laughs> So, I mean, maybe other people like it. They just don't mention it. But that's what I'm wearing right now. And I've got a few compliments. Show us a clothing item of yours, which always turns heads. Oh, I can't show you. I'm assuming this is for people who are actually on camera. Um, I don't know if I have a clothing item necessarily. I feel like I could, sh it's more like a piece of makeup. Like if I wear green or purple eyeshadow, usually my eyes will pop because I have really green eyes so it complements my green eyes purple usually when I usually wear purple eyeshadow people are always like oh my gosh your eyes are amazing so um and don't worry it's not like crazy purple or anything like that I people I think are always are like you were purple eyeshadow what is this the 60s but there's a way to do it and then what is your most treasured piece of jewelry you know, I actually don't have an expensive piece of jewelry. Um, you know, I'm not engaged or anything like that, so I don't have, like, a ring that's expensive. Um, and I don't have anything, really. I don't have, like, a class ring or anything like that. So I really don't have an expensive piece of jewelry and nothing that's necessarily special to me. So I don't, know, I don't have anything. I think it, once I do get a, an engagement ring, hint, hint, <laughs> that, uh, that would be, I guess, my most treasured, right? Who is your style crush? Um, oh man, I'm not like a a big clothing person. I'm more of a makeup person. Like I, some girls like to go shopping for like clothes, right? I like to shop for makeup. That's my favorite. So I guess if you want to go, who's like your makeup crush? I don't know. I just don't really have anyone. I mean, I admire people 
and their own like styles and there's some really you know cool pretty girls out there but I just I don't know there's no one I like get inspiration from I just kind of do what I want so I don't know I don't have really an answer for that sorry (laughs) um I guess if you want to say who's your celebrity crush uh definitely Rachel McAdams if you know who she is she was in the notebook she was in Mean Girls she was Regina she is in basically a lot of love movies by Nicholas Sparks uh she was in like Time Traveler's Wife uh she was in The Vow yeah her I just think she's absolutely stunning she's just super classy she reminds me of like a 1940s just beautiful model or something she's just absolutely gorgeous and I just think she's I don't know she's just so pretty (laughs) and you know it's just it's just a unique beauty like I wish I looked like that because just something about seeing like an old-fashioned beauty I think is really cool so I really She's like kind of my style crush, I guess, my celebrity girl crush. I don't know. Is that weird? No, I mean, girls have girl crushes, right? It's not anything like sexual. It's just, I think she's pretty, (laughs) you know? Um, And then tell us something we don't know about you. So something weird about me is I actually had tongue surgery when I was in high school. What that means is my tongue was really short that I could barely stick it out And uh, my boyfriend actually noticed this when we were in eighth grade. We were um, at like an amusement park and I was like licking ice cream. And he's like, why is your tongue like that? I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, can't you stick it out further? And I couldn't. And I never, I guess I just never knew that that was, and there was anything wrong with me. And I mean, I could have gone without it being like fixed. But the issue was, is I really wanted to learn Spanish and you had to be able to roll your R's and you have to be able to move your tongue. My tongue wasn't really long enough to even move. So, um, uh, my dentist actually was able to perform the surgery. And basically what he did is if you fill underneath your tongue, you have that like little piece of skin that connects your tongue to your mouth, right? So he cut that and like stretched it. And then like stitched it. (laughs) Yes, it was as painful as it sounds. It was really, really painful. Way worse than having my wisdom teeth out. I mean, I've never had any body major surgeries, so I'm not going to say it's like the most painful thing. But it was definitely more painful than having my wisdom teeth out because you can barely just move your mouth. Like, you know what I mean? Um, And then what would also happen is I would get like boils under my tongue, which I know that's gross. But from like the saliva buildup and stuff and I'd have to go and get them popped and oh my gosh it's just such a delicate thing in your body that it hurts so bad (laughs) but uh I mean it worked I can stick out my tongue now I'm still trying to learn how to roll my r's but I could never like move my tongue I could never like do things with it I just I it was my mom said that you they usually check that when you're born and it's something they can fix when you're born, but they must have forgot about me or something. <laughs> so anyways, that's probably a weird thing that, I mean, you would never know. It's not a visual thing um, and it was fixed, but it's kind of weird. So there's my little secrets. It's whatever. I don't have <laughs> a lot of secrets or anything. You know, um, I do want, it would actually be fun to hear kind of, who people's celebrity crushes are because Rachel McAdams is my girl celebrity crush but I'm actually really picky when it comes to guys uh you know a lot of people like oh Channing Tatum or Ryan Gosling or I don't know who else is hot like Justin Timberlake I guess I don't know and like they're fine actually I think I think and please don't kill me but Channing Tatum is not cute at all (laughs) he's not I don't get it um I think his eyes are too small for his face, and sorry, that's mean, but I'm a face person. I love a good face. (laughs) Does that sound weird? I just like faces, and I pay attention to faces, and to me, that's what you're going to see all the time, because then my friends will be like, but he has a nice body, and I'm like, yeah, but like, you don't see that all the time. You have to stare at his face, so if you don't like his face, it's not going to help, is it? (laughs) So I don't think he's cute, sorry. (laughs) Um, But actually, I mean, and this is like, this is just my preference. I really just like uh, different nationalities. I really like, you know, Spanish men or um, even like, uh, 
I mean, I don't know. I all kinds of men, sure. But uh, I'm really attracted to like Spanish men in particular. Uh, I don't know why. I just like the really dark eyes. They kind of draw me in. Um, so I don't know. There's not a celebrity that I'm like really that into. Michael Buble is definitely my big celebrity crush, but uh, he's definitely attractive, but I don't think he's actually like hot, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like he does, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm picky. I can't decide. There's just nobody who I'm just like, damn, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I'd have, I would love to hear who else, like, who do you guys think is hot? Like what guy in Hollywood do you think is hot? Because everybody thinks I'm crazy. Um, I just can't believe I'm that picky, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> just super picky. Um, I mean, and there's no other really girls I think are that pretty too. I just really like Rachel McAdams. Um, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm trying to think. I mean, there's definitely some guys I can name off that I think are attractive, but can I say they're actually like, would I put a poster for them on my wall? In other words, no, I wouldn't. So I don't know. I'm a, I'm a strange one sometimes, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, let me know down below who, like, who's your celebrity crush, like girl or boy, um, because it's really interesting to see what other people think. I'd really like to see if there's somebody like me who really just doesn't have anybody, uh, so anyways, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Design to Sell. I do have all the screenshots coming up and also have the uh, the prices. So I don't really have any before pictures because there was nothing to really take pictures of, if that makes sense. So I just have the after pictures and what each room costs, and I haven't even added it up, so I don't even know how much it is. So we'll find out together. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.